Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I may have one of the biggest empties that I have ever done. I have waited too long to do this video. This bag is chock full of products. So without further ado, let's go through my trash. In no particular order, because I cannot have any kind of order to this chaos. I'm just gonna pull things out. This is the Cinema Secrets All Natural Brush Soap. I went through every last bit of it and it lasted me forever. I mean, I want to say I got this, I think, in the last Sephora sale, which would have been in April, so like six months. And I did purchase a backup and I am going to be talking about it in my Sephora suggestions video because I love this. Now, I don't use it for brushes. I use it only for my sponge. So I keep it in my the bathroom that's attached to this room. I keep it in the drawer in there and um, use it every morning to clean out my sponge. And I love it. Every single video, L to N D SPS 44 UV elements. It's just, it's my favorite. It's Chad's favorite. We go through them a lot and I always have backups. I just opened my next to last backup. So once I open my last backup, I'll order probably two or three more because we go through them so fast. Love this so much. This was sent to me from EcoTan and it's the Invisible Tan Self Tanning Cream. I actually really enjoyed this. I felt like it was very natural. Um, it didn't streak. It like faded, faded faster than a foam, but it faded naturally. You have to make sure that you wash your hands after this. I did not remember one time and yeah, it was bad because I don't use a mitt with a cream like this. I only use it with like mousses, um, so that was my bad. But otherwise, I really like this, and they do tout themselves as being cleaner, saying no hidden nasties, um, and this is in the shade medium dark. Cover Effects High Performance Setting Spray. I had this in my kit. Uh, I liked it. I'm currently using one from Kryolan that I love, so I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this for my kit, but it was a good setting spray. Went through a couple of my Elastin products. The Restorative Neck Complex with Trihex Technology. I did not dislike this. I'm trying a couple more right now that I may like even more, but I didn't dislike it. I, I really like the packaging, how it has this little um, airtight pump and you do just need one pump so it helps control the amount versus if it were just a jar where you stuck your fingers in. I don't like that because I would always end up using too much. So that part I really do like, and again, I didn't dislike it, but I, I'm trying out two more right now, and then I think I'm going to do maybe a net cream video ranking them. Not bad product. This I love. The Restorative Skin Complex with Trihex Technology. I just ran out of this last night. Ugh, and if there's one thing I can say about this packaging I don't like, it's the fact that I don't know when I'm getting low. And it's that dreaded like noise that it makes when you are just pumping out air and there's nothing left, it, it was horrible. I will probably repurchase this because I really did like it. it, it I felt like it firmed my skin. Um, it was very nice and moisturizing going on. If you have super oily skin, you may not even need a moisturizer over this, uh, but I like it. I used it at night after my Retin-A. I would let my Tretinoin cream sit in for probably like an hour or so, and then I would go back in with this, my eye cream and my moisturizer and be done. Another couple things that I feel like are in every video, the Revision Skincare Soothing Facial Rinse. I always have one of these in use. I currently do. This is my favorite toner. I'm also testing out the L to MD Recovery Toner that they just launched. That's supposed to help your uh, barrier recover if you like have done too much to it, which I can sometimes tend to do. But this is my rotation and I will probably always have it in my rotation because it is my favorite hydrating toner. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Definitely had a backup of this. Definitely still using it. My favorite dry shampoo. It cleans the hair as well as gives it a little bit of volume. As far as like spray products like this, I feel like Living Proof just takes the cake. Like I have probably two or three other products that I use from them and I love them. I'm going to be doing a how, how I style my hair video coming up soon and you'll see a lot of living proof. Speaking of hair, this is the Davines or Davines Malu Hair Shield. This is the um, heat protectant that I spray in my hair every time I wash it before I blow dry it. I love it. It doesn't weigh my hair down. 
It has a nice light scent, but it doesn't linger. And it just worked for me really well. So last time I got my hair done, I repurchased this from my hairstylist and I obviously am going to do that. So again, the Malou Hair Shield from Davinus. Davinus. Davines. Davin. I don't know. Y'all told me before. I don't know. Speaking of my Tretinoin Curology, I finished up this bottle, which was my 0 .05 Tretinoin Cream that's mixed with azelaic acid and niacinamide. I went up on my prescription the last time, so I'm now at 0.07% tretinoin. It is a little bit stronger on my skin, but I can still handle it, and I love Curology. Did a whole video on this if you're interested to learn more, but they are my favorite when it comes to tretinoin. Bay Harbor Beauty Hydrating Water Gel. Y'all really like this. I really like this, and when I ran out, um, I started using just like, like little tidbits that I had for my day cream, and... Just really like this it has a pump I, I said that because it makes me realize how much I like it there's a tiny bit left you're not even gonna be able to see it I mean it's a legit gel texture and it was just perfect for daytime moisturizer for me and if you have oily skin it would be great for probably both day and night this is um, again from Bay Harbor Beauty she now has her own website so I will link to that she at the time that I was using this and talked about it, my skincare routine only had an Etsy shop, but she has moved on up and I'm so incredibly happy and proud for her. So be sure and check this out because she has a lot of other great products as well. Another Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Body Builder. Lost the top, always lose the top to my hair stuff, always. I have no idea why. Um, this is one of my favorites. I did purchase another one because I don't want to be without it. I like to spray this on my hair before I use any heat products on it or heat tools like um, a curling iron or a hair wand or anything. And it also gives body and you can change the amount of volume you want up top. So you can do high volume or low volume and however you twist the nozzle will determine that. Love it. Again, another winner from Living Proof. Another um, self-tanner. This is the Mine Tan Caramel One Hour Express Tan. And if you want it to be darker, you leave it off for three hours. I do not leave this on and then go in the shower and rinse it off. I just put it on and I'm good to go. Um, I like this a lot. I think I got it on QVC. I don't know if QVC still carries them. I thought Ulta did too, but I feel like I couldn't find it last time. I'll try to link it because I do really enjoy this as far as mousse self-tanners go. This is another dry shampoo that actually has the top on it. This is from IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I didn't dislike this, but it wasn't my favorite. I felt like it felt kind of heavy on my hair, almost like it made it too textured and almost felt a little dirtier. It didn't look dirtier, but it felt a little dirtier when I used this. But again, that can be good if you're styling it. So I, I don't like totally hate this. It's just not my living room. I finished up a couple of Definage products. The One Step Clean Multi Cleanser. <laughs> Doesn't say cleanser on here, but that's what it is. This is their cleanser. This is okay. It wasn't my favorite cleanser. It's more of a thick gel consistency. Um, I prefer more of like a creamy consistency to my cleanser. So I'm probably not going to repurchase this. But this one, on the other hand, the 8 in 1 Bio Serum from Definage is a staple in my routine. I love this so much. I use it in the morning over my moisturizer, under my SPF. Talked about it a lot. Always have a backup. In fact, my backup to the one I'm using now just came in a couple of days ago. I just don't want to be without it. Love this so much. I feel like out of the entire line of Definage, this is their hero product. So if you only want to try some one thing, you can only, you know, your budget only allows for one thing, I would definitely try for this. In Medica Retinol Complex 0.25%. I talked about if I'm not using a tretinoin, one of my very favorite retinols to use is from Skin Medica. I have a travel size of the 0.5% uh, that I also love, but this is this is just great. I don't really use retinols anymore because I'm using my tretinoin from Curology. But if you are someone who can't handle tretinoin, this is one of the most effective retinols that I have used, in my opinion. Another Skin Medica product, um, Chad actually finished this up. This is the Rejuvenate or Rejuvenative yeah, Moisturizer. I can't read today for some reason. 
Uh, he used this as a daytime moisturizer and as a nighttime, I think, because I am legit trying to get him on a skincare routine. He's using my truth treatments, vitamin C. He's using a retinol. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get him there. I mean, he's almost 45, but that's okay. It's never too late to start. So this is what he finished up from Skin Medica, and he liked it. This is the Neocutis Bio Serum Firm Growth Factor Serum. I have another one of these, but I'm currently using the Skin Medica TNS Advanced, the new one that they came out with as far as growth factors. Once I start this back, I think I will be able to determine. So this is a very general statement right now because I really need to start this back right after the TNS to decide, but I feel like I like this one even more than the new TNS personally, but I do love this either way. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the Medicaid Hydra B5 Intense Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really like this. It made me want to try more things for Medicaid, which I haven't done yet, um, but they are definitely on my radar. This has um, lactic acid in it. It's got your hyaluronic acid. It's got lots of good things, and it I've really enjoyed this. Like, highly suggest it. I forgot about it. I need to look into Medicaid. I actually went through at least enough for me to warrant repurchasing two of my hourglass powders in my kit, dim light and luminous light. So like luminous light has a little bit left, but see how it broke right there. And it was just getting hard, harder for me to like get my brush in and pick up enough product. So I definitely repurchased this one. And I also repurchased dim light because they're my favorite. I mean, hourglass powders are some of my very favorites and I don't want to be without them. And again, these are the two colors some of the two colors that I use in my kit. This is from Kapari. It is the Tropical Coconut Melt. Now, yes, I understand that the Kapari coconut oil, solid coconut oil is legit just coconut oil. Like I get that. And I probably, no, I know I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have the added tropical scent, but the added tropical scent, oh, I mean, it's gone, but I can still smell it. It smells so good. And this is very, very moisturizing, as you can imagine, slathering coconut oil all over your body. But the smell, Oh my goodness. And I think they came out with a limited edition because I don't believe you can get this anymore. I think it was limited edition, but I saw, um, I think on Nordstrom sugar cookie. Oh, I need to get that before they run out because this was heavenly. I mean, I had to steal it back from Chad every day because he would take it away from me. Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover every single video. Nothing else to say other than it is my absolute favorite. Couple of myths that I went through. This is from my kit, the Fix Plus from MAC which I love not as a setting spray, but as a fixing spray, kind of if you go a little too much on powder or if you really just want to blend everything in. I use this on every single client. This is the Is Clinical Copper Firming Mist. I liked this one. I did not like the spray on it. I ended up putting it in a different spray bottle and used it up that way. Um, so not my favorite. I did like this. It's not my favorite mist. I don't know if I'll repurchase it, to be honest. I, I just can't get away from my Josh Rosebrook and my Jordan Samuel. Those are my favorite mist. Speaking of Josh Rosebrook, I went through the Active Enzyme Exfoliator. I think this is kind of like a half size that came in uh, a detox box, but you can kind of see it's this, it's an exfoliator, but it also has chemical exfoliant actives in it as well. And it was a great mask. I used it as a mask and I really liked it. I don't think I have tried a skincare product from Josh Rosebrook yet that I don't like. I'm currently using his daily acid toner a few times a week. Um, I love his Vital Balm Cream, which I have in rotation for my night moisturizer. Love his mist, as I just said. Really, really great line to check. Speaking of detox box, this is the One Love Organics Botanical B Enzyme Cleansing Oil. I want to say I saw One Love is now on Ulta. Ulta and Credo Beauty did like a partnership. I don't know if it's permanent or just for a few months, but I really like this cleansing oil. I have to be careful with cleansing oils because balms and oils tend to break me out if they have certain ingredients in them that I may not be aware of. Um, and so I'm kind of hesitant to start new ones because I love my MAC Cleanse Off Oil. It's still my favorite. But this is much thicker than that. It's much more emollient. And it still does a great job. It lasts me a long time. So again, Botanical B Enzyme Cleansing Oil. I'm not saying I won't ever repurchase this again because I did really enjoy it. 
I finished this NARS Skin Multi-Action Hydrating Toner in my kit. It's okay. It's a toner. Um, I go between a toner or a bioderma micellar water or something to start off the makeup. Um, and this was fine. I don't think I'll repurchase it, but it was fine. I finished my Beauty Counter Nourishing Cream Cleanser. This they don't have anymore. They have replaced it with the Counterstart Cocoa Cream Cleanser, which I'm currently using in its place, and I'm actually almost out of that one. Uh, Beauty Counter makes some of my favorite cleansers, so I almost always am using one of them in my rotation. Okay, so let's talk about these two serums. This is from Muck Tea Hyaluronic Marine Serum and Ranavat Radiant Illuminating Serum. So both of these came in like either either my detox box from Detox Market or my Beauty Heroes box. And when I get skincare heavy boxes like that with serums, what I tend to do is use them on my hands and my arms. I want to use them up, but I probably I know I'm like not probably gonna put them in a routine that I'm really set on in my face. So before I go to bed at night, I will put serums on my hands and on my forearms, and then I will cover that with a moisturizer of some sort. Liked both of these. This one by Ranavat smells if you like a spicy scent. And I don't know exactly. It's got, what is it? I'll look it up and put it on the screen because this is a specific ingredient that gives it that scent. Um, and it has amazing reviews for the skin. So check this out if you are interested in using it on the skin. But I use these types of products on my hands and my arms. I finished up my two favorite lip balms. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Night serum, the uh, lip serum, and it's basically a clear version of the tinted lip serums that I know and love so much, and it's just, I love it. It's thick enough. It's got skincare ingredients in it. I purchased, they have a duo on Freeze Co, Freeze Co Beauty right now, and so I purchased that so that I will have it for a long time because it did last me a while. This is from Spa Ritual. It's a citrus cardam cardamom moisture balm, and I use this, I mean, this is a balm that you can use like on your elbows and you know, any dry areas, but I specifically use this as a lip balm, especially during the day um, when I didn't want something maybe as thick as this. Um, this is good. This is the second one I've gone through. So I will probably repurchase this too. Right now I'm using um, some samples of the Elastin Recovery Balm, which is fabulous on the lips, by the way. So once I get done with those samples, I'll decide whether I'm going to repurchase the big size of that or this. A couple of face ateliers that I went through in my kit, number seven and number one. This is the, let's use this outside, the uh, Ultra Foundation, and this is in the Pro. They call it Ultra Foundation Pro because they have these smaller plastic bottles that are easier to fit in kits but it's the same as the full size ultra foundation. So I've done a whole video on this because it's one of my very favorite foundations, especially for mature skin. So if you haven't seen that, watch it. But I promptly repurchased these colors because I will never be without face Tillier in my kit. Brow pencils, I went through three of them. This is the CoverGirl Fine Brow Pencil. This is in the color Honey Brown. I love this brow pencil for a drugstore alternative. It's one of my very favorites. This is the Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil, waterproof, in the color 1.5 Taupe, which I liked. I just like trying new brow pencils. But the one that I always go back to is the Jane Ardell Brow Pencil, and this is in the color Ash Blonde. This is what I have in my brows right now, and it's what I'm currently using. I also have blonde. I typically always try to have a backup of this in my drawer because out of all of them, the Jane Ardell is my favorite. I ran out of the Marc Jacobs in, from my kit um, highliner matte gel crayon in Earthquake. And this is just a really pretty dark brown color, but it, it, there is nothing to be twisted up anymore. I actually purchased the Victoria Beckham crayon. It actually it just got here. I haven't even opened it um, to replace this because I've heard wonderful things about it. So I will see if it's as long lasting and as pretty of a color as this. If not, then I mean, I'm keeping the Victoria Beckham one, but I will be repurchasing this because I use this a lot, a lot, a lot. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here, I promise. The Chanel, the Volume Day Chanel Mascara, one of my very favorites. I don't have one right now, but the next time Nordstrom does the buy two, get one free mascara event, I will be purchasing three of these because that's typically what I do. Love this mascara so much. 
Speaking of lashes, Revita Lash Cosmetics Advanced Lash Conditioner. It's my favorite lash serum. I'm currently using one right now. I use it about three times a week. And then I will, um, every night, I have been putting my Jane Iredell Lash Conditioner on top of my lashes before I go to bed. And I just really like the effect of it. So my favorite lash serum. And then finally, I went through the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiant Makeup Skin Serum. I just got the baby one. It lasted for like such a small amount of time. I think I probably got like six uses out of this. So while I don't feel like the price is worth it, I also just don't feel like it's anything special. I feel like you could get the, is it the Super Dew by Glossier? The oil serum by Glossier is better than this and you get way more. Now I know this is the mini, but you even get way more, I think, than in the full size. I finished up my Pixie liner, just got too short to sharpen. Definitely repurchased that because it is my favorite for tight lining. And then finally, I finished up another Creme de Nude from MAC. This is my favorite in the purse lipstick. It's very nude, so all the nude lipstick haters out there are not gonna like this, but it's just my favorite. It's one of those ones that I know I can just stick on and not have to have a mirror. It's it's a skin sheen formula, so it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I have very dark lips naturally, very pigmented lips. So I can pull off something like this because when it mixes with the pigment of my actual lips, it doesn't look as scary as coming straight out of the bullet if you swatch it on the hand. If you have really light lips, this is going to be super light. Keep that in mind. But it's my favorite. I have one that I'm working on in my purse and I have a backup in my backup drawer. <laughs> and then finally, I went through my Fit Glow Beauty Corrector in Peach. You better believe I have another one that I am working through because this is my top three correctors, taking whatever's left on the little doe foot. It is just what it says it is, a peach corrector, and it just works so well to cover up that darkness that is very prevalent under my eyes. So if you are looking for a nice corrector and you really have a lot of dark circles, definitely look into that. So that is it. I know that was a very long empties. I will try not to let the bin get that full next time, but it just shows I do go through my products and I do have staple products. Um, I have some products that I didn't love so much, but it really feels like an accomplishment when I finish something up and can put it in that bin. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and most of all, that you go out and have a very blessed